Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not of all his benefits. We thank God for the benefits of the Lord. You see, some persons are expecting to have the whole world in their hands to say that the benefits of the Lord they are of experience, are experiencing. But as long as I have his hands to hold. As long as he watches over my soul, as long as I'm under his control, it is all right. Welcome to Wings of Eagle Deliverance Church of God, coming to you out of Brooklyn, New York. And this is the hour of deliverance broadcast. And we are just excited about Jesus. So we say today, get all excited and tell everybody that Jesus Christ is still the King of Kings. He is still our help. He is still our Burden bearer. He say we should cast all our cares upon him because he cared for us. When we tell people about our situation, they might just take it and have it all over town. But oh, and you become a mockery as you pass by people because everybody seems to know your story except you. But today, when we talk to the Lord, we know that it stays and not only stays, but he will in his own timing, according to his will, will allow us that shifting and that changing. So welcome 
to our media platform this morning those of you on facebook youtube you are most welcome and we ask today that you would just continue to trust the lord to like and to share the page and those of you who wants to make a contribution to the ministry you are most welcome but we are here this morning to share a word with you from zechariah chapter 1 zechariah 1 and verse 1 to 6 zechariah 1 verses 1 to 6 here beginning at verse 1 of Zechariah 1. In the eighth month of the second year of Darius came the word of the Lord unto Zechariah, the son of Berechiah, the son of Ado, the prophet, saying, The Lord hath been sore displeased with your fathers. Therefore, say thou unto them, Thus saith the Lord of hosts, Turn ye unto me, saith the Lord of hosts. And I will turn unto you, said the Lord of hosts. Be ye not as your fathers unto whom the former prophets have cried. Be ye not as your father to whom the, the former prophets have cried, saying, Thus said the Lord of hosts, Turn ye now from your evil ways and from your evil doings. But they did not hear. Hearten unto me, said the Lord your fathers. For where they, sorry, for your fathers, where are they? And the prophets do, they live forever. Verse 6. But my words and my statutes, which I have commanded my servant, the prophets, they did not take all of their fathers. And they returned and said, like as the Lord of hosts taught to do unto us according to our ways and according to our doing so had he dealt with us this is the word of the lord we say thanks be to the almighty god uh, can we bow our heads as we bless the words of the lord to our hearts and glorify his name our god and our father we worship and adore you we praise you for who you are we lift you up because you are the most high we commend your words to you today and we decree and declare that the Holy Spirit will direct these words, O oh God, with power and with clarity to your people. Father, in the name of Jesus, we just give you glory, praise, honor, O oh God, because you are Lord of our lives. You declare this morning, O oh God, that we should return unto you. As we return to you, we pray, O oh God, that you will help us to realize what we have been missing out on. We ask, God, that you will just lead us into complete victory. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Now, this morning, the word is return to God. This is a word to all of us to return to God. Whatever has caused distraction in our lives that we have deviated from the norm or the right procedure, that we were on before, God is saying that we should return unto him. There are a lot of things that we have been asking God for, but he is saying now, return unto me so we can dialogue. Return unto me so the things that you have been asking me for, uh, hallelujah, you will have them. The first call of the prophet Zechariah was a call uh, to re repeat the mistake uh, of their forefathers don't repeat the mistake of your forefathers because they have constantly been moving away from me sinning against me but i call upon you this morning to return unto the lord now that you have returned now that the israelites have returned from babylon to their homeland to understand why they suffered the punishment of exile is a good discipline without there is without that there is no basis for us to uh minister this morning or to be encouraged god rules over the future of his people our future are in his hand without god oh hallelujah we have no harvest if you look on the harvest that the children of israel had or oh, if you look back in Agai, Agai said, unless and until 
this generation understand this, they won't be able to experience the goodness of God's blessing. The point is, even when God is angry, oh my God, I love you. Even when God is angry, he did not abandon his children. <laughs> this is profound this morning because there are many of us who are ministering servants of God. When we read the word of God, we and God is showing mercy and is asking to return. We are using God's word as something uh, destructive to God's people. But God is, is not um, issuing a warrant of uh, death this morning. He's asking us to return unto him. So we should not misunderstand or misquote God's word. He sent the prophets to warn them. So when God give us his words to warn his people, let us give it like how God gave it. Oh, do not be like your fathers who earlier, uh, hallelujah, the prophets proclaim. That is what the Lord the Almighty is saying. To turn from your evil ways and from your evil practices. That is what God wants. He wants us to be in good standing, in a good relationship with him. But they would not listen. Their forefathers would not listen and pay attention. Hence, a lot of them were held captive and destroyed in Babylon. The prophet spoke God's word because the Lord said that they would not listen or pay attention to me. God is angry with a lot of people today. He is still speaking to us even though he is angry he said in his word is angry his anger rather is for a moment oh weeping may endure but for a night but joy cometh in the morning we can experience the joy of the lord that we want to experience if we return to the almighty god today somebody just lift your hands right where you are and say hallelujah to the lamb of god we worship you today god is angry with you and is still speaking with you. Uh -huh. When we are angry people today, we malice them. We don't even want to see them. But God is angry with his people because they have deviated from the normal procedure of righteousness and holiness. But he did not despise them. He was still on speaking terms with them. What is that? Love, or can you call it a uh, oh, merciful uh, grace, hallelujah, gracious and kind attention to his people. God speaks, uh, oh, but they refuse to listen. God did not distance himself from them. Huh. Don't repeat the same mistake over again. Repent and return to the almighty God because God wants us to return to him. As they return to him back home in Judea, you can see where they had a new start. Oh, somebody said new start this morning. New start. Some people feel, oh, hallelujah, that sin disqualify them from coming to God. No, sin, this sin qualify you to go to God because sin is saying that I need to get rid of what I am going through and God has made it possible not to be coming to the priest, not to be coming to the pastor over and over, but to talk to him and said, Father, I have sinned against heaven and before thee. No more worthy to be called thy son, but Lord God, because of your grace and mercy, because of your blood, I can and be ransom i can be free from the condition return to god would you be free this morning from your burden of sin there is still power in the blood of jesus therefore tell my people that what the almighty god is saying return unto me declares that the almighty oh hallelujah is calling on them to return oh in one simple statement the almighty said the lord of hosts hallelujah Oh, is repeated three times, two more times in the following uh, verses, five times in the text. Oh my God, the sovereign Lord said, oh God Almighty declared, there is no higher authority. Can I say that again? To myself and to other persons who try to, to misquote and to destroy the social fabric of God's word. There is no higher authority than the words of God. He, oh God, it make it possible that those who have sinned and those who are in sin can return. 
How can we, hallelujah, destroy people even before they come to God? How can we destroy them when they come to God and don't know much about them? We demonize them. We say all manner of evil about them. If the world is filled with demons, it is the churches, hallelujah. Oh, our responsibility to loose them from the powers of darkness, oh, hallelujah. And we thank God that there is power in the name of Jesus to break every chain. The sovereign Lord, the almighty God declare, oh, my authority is higher. My ways are higher than your ways and my thoughts above your thoughts. No, hallelujah. This was a time, a call out, a set of people by God was, was going down the wrong pathway. But God said to them, I love you. And regardless of how you behave, you are behaving, I must call you in a carcass. I must call you one side. Oh, are you gone? I'm going to use my prophet to talk to you and remind you that you have moved away. Oh, hallelujah, from worship. You have moved away Oh, from talking to me. You have moved away from prayer. But they refused to listen. Hence, a lot of them were destroyed in Babylon. But after the return of their... Their children and some of some of the other relatives, including Zachariah, God gave a word to the prophet saying, I don't want what happened to the people before to happen to you. I want to establish my covenant with you. Return to God. Return to God. We realize that there is a call from the Almighty God to mankind to return to a place where he can communicate with you. God wants to communicate. He wants to have a personal talk with you. There are the song man declare friendship with Jesus. Fellowship divine. Oh, I love God because God does not uh, um, want to talk to mankind before he has a, a, friend, a friendship or a relationship with you. He has created an open relationship for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. And he's calling today that we should return. Brothers and sisters, many in Christendom today have strayed from the parts of righteousness but today the almighty god is calling us back into covenant relationship with himself not to the pastor but himself oh we are just here to guide the process oh you might be messed up and people are telling you even church folks are telling you that you are too messed up for the transformation to take place the devil is a liar oh the viler the sinner the richer the blood in jeremiah Jeremiah 314 God promised uh, to marry to the backslider hallelujah to the Almighty God today if you are ready for the process to take place in your life your wait is over for God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world but that the world through him the world through him might be delivered from the bondage of sin oh somebody just Glorify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. These words were born out of the throne room of God's love, his grace and his mercy to our hearts. Return unto me, said the Almighty God. Oh, mercy there was great and grace was free. Pardon there was multiplied to me. There my bird and soul found liberty. Hallelujah. At Calvary, this plea for mercy can only come to repentance. There is something, there is a call, return unto me. But when you return unto him, you must say something. You must acknowledge that you are in the presence of the Almighty God. We must acknowledge that we have done wrong. We have sinned against God. Hallelujah. And how do we sin? We sin in words, in thoughts, and in deeds. Oh. Oh, this is acknowledging that we have transgressed against God and God we are asking God to forgive us can I talk to somebody today it's time to move from the surface religion surface religion is going just going into a church oh hallelujah and having a good time surface religion is just crossing the highs and dotting the T's and looking for the mistakes oh, hallelujah crossing the T's rather and dotting the I's oh 
hallelujah, and just looking for the mistakes. But I'm here to tell us today that God, hallelujah, is the only one that never makes mistakes. He is perfect in all his ways. Oh, is there a weakness in the reach of my voice? It's time to move away from surface religion. Surface religion cause us to criticize each other. For surface religion will let you shout hallelujah and speak in tongues and still have hate and sorrow and bitterness in your heart. Hence we have driven ourselves into isolation from God. But God is calling us today to return to him. Lord, take me back to that whole landmark where I make a new commitment, where I make a fresh start. Somebody need to lift your hands up to God today and say, fresh start, because we are going to return unto the master. Ask your neighbor, ask yourself, are you ready for this? Because I have come to the realization that many prayers that we have prayed seem to have gone in vain because we are praying for people and on people's behalf, but they are not helping themselves at all. So God give a personal call, return unto me. <laughs> and a shift will take place in your life. A shift from a worldliness to godliness. A shift from a gossiper to a proclaimer of God's word. A shift from failure to success. A shift from defeat to victory. A shift from sickness to good health. A shift from Hyde Avenue to praise and worship Avenue. A shift from entertainment to Holy Ghost empowerment. I wish I had somebody to praise God with me. Oh, Lord. Return unto the Lord. Oh, he is our God in whom we trust. Hello, somebody. It is the anointing that breaks the yoke. Oh, hallelujah. And the yoke can only be broken when we return to God and allow him to empower us and anoint us. Are you ready for this? Are you ready for this? Conditions apply. Oh, hallelujah. For Second Chronicles seven fourteen declare, If my people that are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven, forgive their sins and heal their land. Oh, the reason why the land is in so much misery is because uh, there are so many backsliders who have turned away from God. Uh, but God is saying, don't matter what you have done, uh, you are still a part of me. I will not leave you. I will never forsake you. I'm calling you to return unto me, not to the church brother, the church sister, or the pastor who have, oh, hallelujah, or beat upon you, or they ridicule you or lie on you or say all manner of evil but I'm calling you back into a covenant relationship with me because hallelujah has sent my son to die for you he gave his life for you and for me Jesus the sweet Nazarene and God is calling us uh, for this oh hallelujah precious relationship to be maintained somebody give God glory and praise this morning today the almighty God through the power of the Holy Spirit is asking, what is your status with me? Are you washed in the blood, in the soul cleansing blood of the Lamb? Are your garments spotless? Are they white as snow? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? People these days, they want to hear, oh hallelujah, they want to hear a lot of different nice stuff. And if it's not as nice as they, they expect to hear it, I'm going to be blessed. I'm going to be getting a car. I'm going to be getting a house. Uh, I'm going to, it's just a smooth sailing in your life from here now. And some people will tell you, give this and this will happen. Uh, God has already tell us what if we give, what will happen. Yes, and I know that is true. But how can we receive from God if we are not in a relationship with him? Oh, glory to God. Your money can't buy a relationship. Oh, you must be cleansed from sin and have the blood of Jesus Christ with him. Oh, hallelujah within. Lord, take me back to that whole landmark. Suggest that we were blessed before. <laughs> oh, then why have we departed from the presence of God? This poses a serious personal question. Today, the question is, is thine heart right with God? Washed in the crimson flow, cleansed and made holy 
humble and lowly right in the sight of God. Church of God. Uh, uh, church of God. Much often we have become frustrated with our lives. Much frustrated with church and people. Uh, and the cares of this world that we have neglected the almighty God. We don't pray anymore. We don't fast anymore. We don't sing anymore. We don't commune with God anymore. Having a form of godliness. Uh, oh, hallelujah. But just denying the power thereof. We are just faking it. Uh, tell your neighbor, it's not time to fake it. It's time to be real. I wish I could get some authentic people to praise and worship God on this social media platform in this very house this morning to worship and praise the Almighty God. For God is not fake. God is real. God is a spirit. And they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Remember, we cannot hide from God. You cannot hide from God. His eyes are watching us. Oh, whatever we do, whatever we say, we cannot hide from him. So often, oh, we want, oh, hallelujah, from God. We need from God, but find it very hard to submit oh, our will and our purpose to the Almighty God. But if you need from God this morning, James 4, 7 declare, submit yourself to God. Oh, the problem is that we cannot make it on our own. God has made us in a particular way. Just like the vehicle cannot run without petrol. Or if it is electricity that runs the vehicle. Or whatever source uh, that caused the vehicle to be in operation. We cannot, cannot Oh, I live the Christian life without being in a good relationship with God. The car cannot make it without the petrol. So we cannot make it without the blood of Jesus running warm in our veins. We must submit ourselves to God. We must resist the devil. You must resist him. You must resist him. Oh, hallelujah. To be in covenant relationship with him, brothers and sisters. Metaphorically, many have been going around in circles like Samson. Or going around in circles like Samson. Blind. Uh, still, still, still making a lot of noise in church, but blind. Uh, still speaking in tongues, but blind. Blind to the things of God. Oh, you are only operating off your past. God is saying he wants to give us a new dimension of his power. And that power that in the last days. Uh, oh, hallelujah. I'm going to pour out my spirit. The blind must see. The deaf must hear. The dumb must talk. Miracles and signs and wonders must follow the church, brothers and sisters. Uh, oh, hallelujah. Many are going around in circles like Samson. Chain to the Philistine grinding mill. Oh. Because of sin. Proverbs 14 34 declares, Righteousness exalts a nation, but sin is a reproach to any people. The wages, oh, the pay of sin is death. Separation from the Almighty God and literal death too. But the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. But there is power. In the name of Jesus to break every chain that is holding you hostage in the Babylon of this world. Babylon oh, situation meaning mean that you are restricted, you are chained. You are in a, in, like you are in a four wall situation and you cannot get out. You have to obey the orders that are there. God is saying, I have liberated you. I have made it possible for you to be free and have peace and sweet rest. Oh, if you just return to me, I'm not saying that you won't have challenges, but my, oh, hallelujah, grace is sufficient to keep you. Hallelujah. There is power in the name of Jesus. Resurrection power, Pentecostal power, Holy Ghost anointed power to break every chain, sickness, disease, condemnation, family problem, marital problem. There is power in the name of Jesus to break every chain, to break the chain of betrayal. Are there any anointed chain breakers in the reach of my voice this morning to declare hallelujah that my God is able to do exceedingly abundantly that I'm able, able to ask or think if you can help somebody, if we can help somebody. Oh, by telling them return unto the Lord, then our living will 
not be in vain. Hallelujah, I feel the Holy Ghost. Yes, I see some of God warriors in the spirit realm are oh, standing again in their rightful place or oh, shooting the artillery of God against the forces of darkness in prayer, worship and glory this morning. Somebody's going to be blessed again. Somebody's going to break free. Somebody's going to get a miracle. Oh, can I declare that it's me? Somebody need to declare that it's me this morning. Is there a witness in the reach of my voice this morning? Are you ready for that miracle? Return to the Lord. Name it and claim it in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, hello, church of God. It's not time to be idle. It's time to be, be in full-time service with God. Put on the old armor of God. Uh, hallelujah. Somebody tell your neighbor, put on the old armor of God. It's war time. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, only but against principalities and powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high and low places. Hello, somebody. Today, through the power of the Holy Spirit, oh, we can do exploit for God when we return. One of us shall chase a thousand. <laughs> you see, there are some situations that we want to get rid of out of our lives. Which God has set it up this way. That, uh, hallelujah. The reason why we can't get over it yet. Because the person that you despised and reject. Should be the person that makes your 10,000. So hallelujah. If the person is weak. We should help the person to be strong. That I am one. Somebody else is number two. Then one shall chase a thousand. Whatever the thousand are demons or, or men or whatever it be. Hallelujah. We'll be able to put them to flight in the name of Jesus. Every spirit which have held us hostage must depart. Uh, in the name of Jesus. Somebody shout in the name of Jesus. Uh, one place too long. One condition too long. Oh, we need to get out of this. We must get past our past today. I decree and declare every endurance to the process shall be removed uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, this mountain shall be removed by my spirit, said the Lord. We declare Holy Ghost fire right now upon those who are wounded, those who have been captured by sin, those who have been lied on, those who have been persecuted. Holy Ghost fire upon you. Hallelujah. You shall find yourself. Oh, hallelujah. Come into your senses. Oh, that you are in the wrong place. I have sinned against heaven and before thee. I'm no more worthy to be called I son but I'm going home hallelujah wounded but I'm going home oh I sh I'm shocked my nerve is shocked oh my mind is wounded but I'm going home because God say I must return home in the name of Jesus we evict every evil spirit that is trying to block you from returning to God. The spirit of oppression will block you. The spirit of depression will block you. Spirit of witchcraft and confusion. We bind you this morning in the name of Jesus. We revoke the order of hell. We declare today the gates of hell shall not, will not prevail against the process of the hallelujah, the children of God to return. We're coming out. We're coming out. We're coming out of our Egypt. We're coming out of our Babylon. We're coming out we have to cross the red sea but we're gonna make it uh, hallelujah we are not gonna stop uh, oh we are gonna not gonna stop uh, oh we are not gonna stop we are pressing on the upward way oh somebody shout uh, oh the demonic imprisonment is over lift every voice and shout the demonic imprisonment is over lift every voice uh, and release the name of jesus in the name of jesus every demonic imprisonment is over somebody shout it again Again. Shout it, let every witch hear you. Shout it, let every warlock hear you. The demonic imprisonment upon my life, I feel the Holy Ghost. Shackles are broken. Somebody is now delivered. Oh, hallelujah. A marriage that has been held hostage is now released in the mighty name of Jesus. A child that is hooked on drugs is now released in the name of Jesus. Oh, a, a woman that was being beaten up by a man is has now found, hallelujah. Hallelujah, that dear, oh, that's not her last stop. Oh, hallelujah. Somebody shout release in the name of Jesus. Witchcraft is broken. Sorcery is broken. In the name of Jesus, 
Somebody is free. Somebody shout freedom in the mighty name of Jesus. Somebody shall break chains break. Break chains break in the name of Jesus. Yes, receive your deliverance in the name of Jesus. I command my soul this morning to rejoice. My soul say yes. Yes to freedom. Yes to glory. Yes to hallelujah. Why? Because I have returned to the God of my father. Somebody shout I have returned. I'm back. Somebody need to tell somebody I'm back somebody that is listening to me that decided that you were not going to church today you better get up you better get up you sh oh hallelujah there are some things that cannot happen in your home there are some things that cannot happen anywhere oh go back into the house of the lord and start to worship again and watch the favor of god upon your life my soul say yes we cannot overcome the tricks and schemes of the devil until we present our bodies a living sacrifice unto the Almighty God. Today, upon the authority of the Holy Ghost, I bind, I render powerless every strong man created, born, or sent uh, that is entering the process uh, of your return. I render them powerless now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah to God, Church of God, Jehovah God. He's reminding us today. Be not uh, entangled in the affairs of this world. Be not conformed to this world, but be he transformed by the renewing of your mind <laughs> that you may prove <laughs> what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Therefore, the, the command of God from the throne room of grace, return, return to me. <laughs> return to me. And we cannot just do it in our mind. Or do it in our bedroom. Hallelujah. God wants you to do it. Because he says he's going to prepare a table. Before you. In the presence of your enemy. Somebody don't like your shout. Somebody don't like your worship. Somebody hate you because you sing a song. Hallelujah. And somebody is blessed. Somebody is jealous of you. Oh, hallelujah. God is saying that you must return. Hallelujah to him. In full time service. Return unto me. And if thou wilt put away thine abomination out of my sight, then thou shalt not be removed. If thou wilt return, O backsliders, if thou wilt return, O sinners in Zion, malice keepers, fornicators, adulterers, workers of iniquity, malice keepers, and gossipers, Yo, hallelujah, if you will return, you shall not be removed. Can I talk to somebody oh, before I close today? If you are not hungry for God, you'll never find him. <laughs> If you are not hungry for God, you will never find him. Oh, hallelujah. It's a day that hunger and thirst after righteousness shall be filled. Like Israel, the church today has strayed. <laughs> has strayed and have wandered from the principles and the guidelines of God. Everybody wants a, a polished sermon. Everybody wants something to... To, to pat them on the shoulder. I cannot declare a pat on the shoulder. When God tells me. That you have walked away from the covenant agreement with him. He says. Hallelujah. You cannot be blessed. Oh because our blessings is not just. Oh material things. The greatest blessing that one could ever have. Is eternal life after this world of hell. After a world of coronavirus sorrow. And government governmental mis up. Oh, we need a place of rest. Hallelujah. We need a place to glorify the almighty Jehovah God. A better place. But we cannot enter the heaven of rest until we make it right with God. Oh, glory to God. Return unto me, said the Lord, and I will forgive you. Return unto me, and I will put your enemies to shame if my people that are called by my name Hallelujah, we'll humble themselves and pray. You're going to pray again and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. Then I will hear from heaven, forgive their sins and heal their land. Lord, take me back to that old landmark, a place of love, a place of forgiveness. Yes, yes, you have to forgive. You cannot return to God until you forgive. A place of righteousness, a place of holiness, a place of peace, a place of benefits and power, a place of deliverance and healing, a place where self is slain and God glory is experienced for there's a higher place of praise. 
that can destroy the yoke today. I choose to worship. Oh, I wish I had somebody to help me. Praise God. Can we for 60 seconds, just a few seconds, just glorify. Oh, glorify the Lord with me. And let us exalt his name in, together. The battle is hot and the conflict is sore, but we must worship God. We must maintain our integrity with God. Sweet Holy Spirit. Sweet Heavenly Dove. Hallelujah. Stay right here with us, filling us with your love and for his blessing. We lift our hearts in praise. Somebody glorify him. Without a doubt, we know that we have been revived. Oh, somebody shabak him. Somebody barak him today. Somebody let God know that you are, hallelujah, in line with his word today. And you are returning to the God of your father today i decree and declare no distraction in the process of your return the devil is a liar your purpose is still alive with god god oh, is now is a never-ending oh hallelujah loving god he is a god of favor is never ending fever and in our love never changes the steadfast love of the lord never ceases. That is why, hallelujah, you will reflect and remember and return to God. For when I think of the goodness of Jesus and what he has done for me, there must be a praise. Oh, hallelujah. Yes, the tears are falling down your eyes. But remember, hallelujah, if you even cry and you don't return, you will not be in the covenant relationship with God. But a broken and a contrite heart, uh, yes, he will not despise uh, that place of God's favor. It's yours. Hallelujah. Feel the Holy Ghost. Uh, hallelujah to God. Do you feel the connection with the Almighty God today? Today, I decree and declare, you shall step on the land of miracles again. Oh, the land of miracles uh, is that place of righteousness uh, for yea though you walk through the valley of the shadow of death you shall fear no evil because hallelujah the rod and the staff is with you today the mercies of God hallelujah have brought us back into a covenant relationship with him oh he's new hallelujah new feel new hallelujah somebody feel new today oh hallelujah he's new to me because what happened is love hallelujah is never ending today oh hallelujah Hallelujah, somebody just worship the Almighty God. He knew me, hallelujah. Yet he loves me, he whose glory make and heaven shine. I was so unworthy of God's mercy. When he was on the cross, I was on his mind. Somebody say something to God. Somebody say something to God. Oh, cast all your cares upon him. Tell him about the situation. Tell him why you're stray. Hallelujah to God. Tell him everything. Oh, hallelujah. Don't come back into the sanctuary and tell oh, what you have done because it will be on the street. Uh, everybody has a phone these days capturing everything on social media. Oh, but when you talk to God in your closet, he will hear you and he will give you the strength to push. Oh, somebody need to give birth today. Give birth to righteousness, holiness, uh, and the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Uh, the Christian life is a holy life. The Christian life uh, declares in first peter 1 6 be he holy for the almighty god is holy as i close therefore church of god we cannot allow ourselves to get caught up in the affairs of this world we cannot afford to let a, a promotion that is offered by a boss cause you who oh, hallelujah to settle for sin. <laughs> no. Let them keep their promotion. If you have to walk away. It is better to be in a relationship with God. Hallelujah. He will provide for you. He will take. Maybe God wants to push you into being an entrepreneur. Starting your own business. Oh, but no. Oh, don't settle for that. Because you'll be living misery. Therefore, church of God. We cannot allow ourselves to get caught up in the affairs of this world. For all that are in the world is the lust of the flesh. Ah, oh, hallelujah. The lust of the eyes and the pride of life, oh, which is not of the Father. Oh, but whoever or oh, whatever, oh, hallelujah, are attracted, you are, you are attracted to. If it's not of God, it's of the devil. If whatever you are attracted to, or whoever you are attracted to, if it's not of God, it's of the devil. Tell your neighbor, if it's not of God, it's of the devil. Tell your neighbor, hallelujah, give no place to the devil. <laughs> He's a deceiver. He comes to steal, 
to kill and to destroy. But Jesus is here. He's come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. Somebody shout the name of Jesus. I'm talking about the powerful name of Jesus. The redeeming name of Jesus. That destroying name of Jesus. That transforming name of Jesus. Jesus who has brought us back into covenant relationship through the blood of Jesus. Jesus, he declares himself the good shepherd. He will lay down at the sheep gate and preserve and protect us. Can somebody call him by his name? As I close, when you get back to the whole landmark, when you get back into covenant relationship with God, you will experience God's glory again. Nobody won't have to beg you to praise him. <laughs> in truth and in fact, some preacher will want to preach. Hallelujah! And they think you become, they are disturbing them, but if they have went through what you have went through, hallelujah! Hallelujah! If they have gone through what you have gone through, Oh, they would recognize that nobody could, could have been through the hell that you have been through and still have a praise. Hallelujah. When God will heal you from cancer, nobody can stop you from praising him. When the devil says you wouldn't walk again and you walk, uh, uh, nobody can stop you. Oh, somebody, uh, I hear the Holy Ghost say, somebody who has returned is a loose cannon in the hand of God. Hallelujah. Nobody can shut you up or shut you down because you are destined. Hallelujah. For greatness, when you come back to God, you will experience God's glory again. You will experience healing, deliverance, and victory. You will not only be experiencing healing in your body, but God will give you the anointing to lay hands on the sick. Lay hand on yourself and you shall and they shall recover. Ephesians 3.20 declares, hallelujah. Now unto him that is able, oh hallelujah, to do exceedingly, abundantly. All that we have asked or think according to the power that worketh in us. When we are in a covenant relationship with God, there is power that is working in us. Ask your neighbor, ask yourself, do you have the right power working in you today? <laughs> uh, I am talking Holy Ghost, Pentecostal, anointed, transforming power. That power declares, when I'm in covenant relationship with God, when I return to God, no weapon. Hallelujah, that is formed against me shall prosper. And every tongue that is risen up in judgment is already condemned. Therefore, no demonic forces can defeat us. There is no power that can defeat us. We are walking side by side. As long as there is love, we are going to stand. Can you bow your heads with me at this time? Hallelujah. God wants to bring us in covenant relationship with him. He wants to enlarge the borders of his kingdom. The cripple must walk. The dumb must talk. The deaf must hear. The blind must see. Terminal illness must disappear. But we have to be back into covenant relationship with him. God says he has created us, our hands, to lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare that every prodigal must return today. I don't worry about the bigger brother. <laughs> oh, hallelujah. The bigger brother can't stay here making up his noise. I'm going to return to the God of my father. There is life for a look. At the crucified one, there is life at this moment for thee. Our father and our God, we thank you for this word today. Speaking to our hearts that we need to return to you, going back to that place where we have covenant relationship, that binding relationship. Lord, we realize that you have never walked away from us. Even when we are in wrong and ignoring you, you are still calling on us, O oh God, to return. Even in this chapter, you have repeated yourself from verse 1 to 6. Oh, hallelujah, that we need to return to you. We have acknowledged your words this morning. Oh God, and you have spoken to my heart, oh God, to help somebody to return. Help them to know, oh God, uh, they are looking. It's hard to forgive. It's hard, oh God, to look beyond oh, what has happened, but help them to know unless they look beyond it. Oh God, they will never be able to go forward. This morning, we bind the spirit 
Oh God, oh God of hate, we bind the spirit of deception and we declare, oh God, life to those who are now, oh God, in a position wondering if they should heed to this call or not, but help them to know there is no peace, there is no joy until the Lord have his way. Place your life in his hand. He'll secure all your plan. Let the Lord have his way today, oh God. We pray you'll save like no other can save. Deliver like you, oh God, can deliver. Oh God, some persons will only be able to help somebody from a situation. But God, you are the almighty God. You can deliver from any and every situation. You are all powerful. You are omnipresent. You are omniscient. Oh God, you are everything. You are our all today. We commend ourselves into thy divine care. We pray you will, oh God, save, oh God, to the utmost. Oh God. You can take somebody off crack cocaine. You can take them off ganja smoking. Every addiction of alcohol, you can take them off. Oh God, we pray that somebody who hear this word will, oh God, not pump any more needles into their vein. Oh, somebody that hear these words, oh God, will not, oh God, put themselves into drunkenness and go to their bed. But help them, oh God, to know that there is consolation in you. There is hope in you. There is joy in you. There is peace in you. I pray today, oh God, that as somebody return, you will give them a comprehensive, oh hallelujah, oh reception. Heal their mind, their thoughts, their body, their soul, and their spirit. Oh hallelujah. We pray that you take revenge against Satan and the host of hell. Oh God, and let the, the devil know. Oh, hallelujah, that, oh God, they are not parked anymore, but they, oh God, they are in forward gear, forward still is Jehovah as well. Though the billows dash and spray with a conquering tread, they're going to push ahead and roll the sea away. We pray today, oh God, has Zion returned, there shall be a mighty revival across this world. Oh God, we pray for a revival. Lord God, more than we need food, money, house and land we declare a spiritual anointed revival a real stuff god that somebody will not be playing church anymore but somebody will be connected to you lord god there are so many persons who are disappointed in church disappointed in also god some of us as leaders i know oh god they some of them decide that they are not going to church anymore but God help them to know that the church is not the building. Oh God, the universal church, oh God, is yours. The local church, oh God, is yours because everyone is a part of your church. Oh God, help them to realize, oh God, that they can find somewhere. Oh God, because you say we should not forsake the assembling of ourselves together so they cannot stay home and say they are having church. They must find somewhere, oh God, to worship because now is the hour when the true hour, oh God, true worship, I must worship the Father. Oh God, for you are a spirit and they that worship you must worship you in spirit and in truth. Touch the sick today and the afflicted. Some are on the hospital bed. Begging you for a chance to live. We cripple, we bind every spirit of death that is lingering over people's life today. Every assignment of death. Hallelujah. Untimely. A debt, we, we bind it up today in the name of Jesus and we receive, we, we release healing. Take somebody off the ventilator today, God. Oh, God, we declare somebody discharged from the hospital today. Oh, God, COVID-19 is raging. Oh, God, it's spiking up again because man cannot manage the affairs of this world. Oh, God, they are limited. Man has to wait on vaccine. Oh, God, approve. Oh, God, method. Oh, for, oh God, for COVID-19 to subside. Oh, God, but you are an almighty God that can do it now. Oh, God, upon the authority of your word, you say, now faith is the substance of things so far, the evidence of things not seen. Oh, God, remember that person who is on that ventilator. Oh, God, who is about to give up. That heart patient. <laughs> oh, God, that person with that lung problem. That cancer patient. Oh, God, we pray in the name of Jesus that you will reach out your hand and touch somebody who is sick. Sick in mind, body, soul, and spirit. Oh God, we pray you'll reach out to that unsaved. 
Let them know that there is hope. We cover, oh God, the ministry of Wings of Eagle, Deliverance Church of God under your blood. We pray that you'll help us to continue to grow. Lord God, we pray that you will just touch us, oh God. Remember, oh God, as we, oh God, prepare for our new location that the Holy Ghost will be with us. The God of, oh hallelujah, heaven will be with us, oh God. We ask in the name of Jesus that you will stand by us, fight for us. We come against every forces of hell. We bind them up in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every attack that is launched against us, we say no weapon formed against us shall prosper. Lord God, we ask that the Holy Spirit will run things in this ministry. Run it beyond smalls or human comprehension. Run it beyond, oh God, the, the expectation of mankind. Help us not, oh God, to for one moment deviate from the righteousness of God, but to trust you. We come against every forces of hell. Oh God, that would want to cause chaos and confusion. We pray, God, that the Holy Ghost uh, will direct our part. Oh God, we declare, oh God, that you will stand by us, fight for us, and give us what it takes to trust you. And we say, oh, for grace to trust you more. God, we pray that you'll touch the media team this morning. Touch the media personnel. We pray that the Holy Ghost will continue to be with them. Lord, as we go, go this morning, God, we pray that you will just touch. Oh, God, Jeannie Banks this morning, who is asking for strength in the Lord. God, is a strength for the laborer you will provide. Whatever situation is, the Holy Ghost. We ask that you will just take control. Remember, Deborah Young, oh God, please pray. Oh God, remember Sister Deborah this morning. Oh God, we ask, oh God, that you will continue to strengthen her as she has declared victory. Oh God, Jesus, we pray God. Oh God, we pray that you will just touch Sister Deborah this morning. Oh God, victory. Please. Oh God, as we pray for her deliverance, we ask, oh God, that you will stand by her. Stand by her. Hold her up. Strengthen her, Lord God. Whatever is her heart's cry this morning, you are passing by this moment. Her needs to supply. Help her to reach out and touch you. God, I'm praying and I'm believing God for her that you will touch her. Help her to touch you by faith. And God, we command that condition now to depart in the name of Jesus Christ. We trust you and we ask you for your continuous divine favor. And may your grace, may your mercy, may your peace, the peace of God the Father and the faithful fellowship of the Holy Spirit, the Comforter, rest, remain and abide with us all, both now until Jesus come. Let the church say amen. Let those who are online say amen. Let YouTube viewers say amen. Let Facebook viewers say amen. Let the church say amen. We give God praise and glory and we thank you for viewing today. We thank you that you have availed yourselves to, to God. And we know that you are going to return. Because you are going to smile again. In Jesus name. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Girl. 
of the spirit control. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We worship you today, Jesus. And the peace. We glorify your name this morning and we surrender everything to you, Lord. In the name of Jesus, only be blessed and a peace. Hallelujah. As you heal it, your body and soul, you can only be blessed. You can only be blessed and a peace. Hallelujah. As you hear your body, so you can only be blessed. You can only be Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. 